one of the drawbacks of the original RoboCams where we were really repurposing surveillance cameras. They were limited in what lensing you could get, what camera quality we could get. You have no remote control to speak of. So they had a very specific use. We could use them for certain types of shots, put them in places right. we couldn't get to. But the limitations were they, they weren't CCU controlled, they weren't broadcast right. quality necessarily, and we couldn't use the online moves right. at the same time. Exactly. So as I look at these two other units here, they look very different to me. Those are the new Cambotics cameras. They are everything I had wished that the older robotics should have been. They use the cameras that we already have on sticks. We use the same full-size cameras. So they that's a broadcast the camera, the same Full one that's over here? Camera, same exact camera. And what kind of lensing do we have on these we two? We have a 17 to 1 on this one. We have a 22 to 1. So if I have to mount one in a truss and get a shot of somebody's iPhone on a, on a table, I can do that. I have put even long throw. In fact, uh, on a show that uh, a couple of people here were on, we had uh, two 42 to ones at the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C., and they became uh, two of the three prime cameras shooting the main events. When you do a move and you pick a target, it hits that target right on the nose and just stops. Right just like there, that there. Just like that. That hits that target absolutely perfectly every time. It is accurate on a typical podium shot down to an eighth of an inch, and that's amazing. You can drive how many cameras from one operator? Typically, if we have a show where we're expecting cameramen to keep looking for good shots, each one gets one controller, one camera. If I have uh, some predictability to what we're doing, one can be on a uh, preset, which is an extremely small move, and just float like you would float a jib. So it's there. Director, mm -hmm. just reach over and use it whenever. And the other one is going to be taking presets and live moves and follow the action. There's one other technology about cameras that we're excited about mm -hmm. that we want to talk about today, and that's the tower cam. So what do we, what do we have there with tower cam? Tower cam is useful when we can't get a jib in a room because the fire marshal or because the front projection cones get in the way. This is two foot by two foot floor space. It can uh, raise up a, a range of 10 feet. We can put the same robotic head on that tower cam. We can control both movements from the same preset. So we can do coordinated movements that go vertical. The minute we move like a jib, you've got depth in the picture. And it really so we're seeing great. some examples of that here. You put the robotic head on something that actually has the right. elevation up and down, and then even on a dolly or something to get some more dynamic moves. You can also invert it and attach it to truss. You can even have a dolly track on the truss, and then you can drop it into the shot, move it, and drop it back out. Excellent. Carl, thank you very much for sharing that with thank us. Thank you. Appreciate it.